I think my fondest uh, UNC memory as a student at uh, UNC, which at the time I went was CSC, was um, belonging to the Sociedad Hispanica, which was sometimes called the Spanish Club, and also being pledged to Alpha Sigma Alpha. I became a pledge in my freshman year. Fernie, I know Fernie because she was my advisor uh, when I was working on my master's degree at uh, the University of Colorado in Denver in the bilingual ESL program. My fondest memory is from the first meeting I had with her. I went to her office unannounced and uh, she was working on a grant and she was very, very busy and I remember walking in and she's writing papers and grabbing a bite and uh, she stopped everything when I said, I would like to find out about your uh, bilingual ESL uh, program, uh, master's degree program. And she stopped everything and started talking to me. Afterwards, I found that she had been on a deadline and she was very, very much in a hurry, but she stopped, stopped everything to talk to me. Not only that, afterwards, she called me at home and wanted to see whether I have any additional questions and gave me uh, also information regarding resources. Uh, I don't know of anybody in her position that would have behaved that way. One of my assignments with uh, Denver Public Schools, one of my mentors who was uh, Mr. Bernie Valdez, I had two, uh, Lena Archuleta was my other mentor, and he asked me if I would become the coordinator of an ESEA Title I project. And the purpose of the project was to motivate Latino youth to complete high school and go to college. And we met after hours. I worked with six high schools and six junior highs. I am still uh, in touch with some of those students. It was a thrill. To this day, I think that was my greatest contribution. Advice that I would give to a student looking for a career in higher education is um, to be prepared to do things that you never thought you would be doing, that perhaps uh, teach a class that you've never had. And I also would um, encourage them to learn how to uh, write grants. That is probably one of the reasons I was so successful in higher education, because I knew how to get money for the school. Being named Distinguished Alumna of the Year at UNC for me is like unbelievable. It's probably the last thing I would have ever expected because I went to school with so many talented students. I believe Fernie deserves, deserves this recognition because she has worked very hard for other people throughout her entire life. She just wanted to make sure that other people had the opportunities that up to that time may have been denied to them.